What do you consider to be the greatest comedy film of all time? Airplane Naked Gun Blazing Saddles This is Spinal Tap if not the greatest comedy the greatest mockumentary by a mile. Dumb and Dumber the performances of Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey are second to none. Yes it's dumb but it's so perfectly executed and paced. I challenge you not to laugh. Monty Python's The Holy Grail Some like it hot. It may be old. I may have seen it a hundred times. It still makes me laugh out loud. Super Troopers Planes, trains and automobiles. John Candy at his best and Steve Martin as a straight man. Hot Fuzz Shaun of the Dead are probably my favorite too. Tropic Thunder Zoolander. That movie's fucking ridiculous in the best way possible. Dumb and Dumber. Blazing Saddles or Young Frankenstein. Hot Fuzz. Superbad. Spaceballs. The original Borat. Team America. Dodgeball. Never fails to make me laugh. Or cheer me up. Also it's one of the rare films I can repeatedly watch. Without it ever getting old. I know there are better comedy films. But Dodgeball is the one that shines brightest for me. It's a mad, 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 mad world. The Big Lebowski. Shaun of the Dead. Step Brothers. The Jerk. Young Frankenstein. A Fish Called Wanda. Blues Brothers. Trading Places. Major League. Oh brother where art thou? I don't want fop, goddammit. I'm a dapper Dan man. The Birdcage. Hilarious and endlessly quotable. There's something about Mary needs to be mentioned. Virtually no filler. The characters. Writing and editing are spot on. So many moments. Warren losing it when Marky Post says I think he was masturbating. Ted's cellmate groaning in disappointment when they release him. Tucker becoming the pizza guy. Definitely in my top five. Superbad. Young Frankenstein. Caddyshack. The other guys. Every scene is hilarious. The Hangover. It's a three-way tie between Airplane, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and Office Space. Walk Hard The Dewey Cox Story is comedy perfection. Idiocracy. Life of Brian. Austin Powers. Duck Soup 1933. Ambassador Trentino I am willing to do anything to prevent this war. Rufus T. Firefly It's Too Late. I've already paid a month's rent on the battlefield. I love Talladega Nights. Also. Have to shout out Undercover Brother. It's the best movie Will Ferrell and his group made. It's so funny and complex and the pacing is amazing. Along with some fantastic improv lines. It's just great. Airplane Naked Gun History of the World Blazing Saddles Top Secret. Ghostbusters. Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Coming to America. Personally, Bad Santa. I was dying throughout that film. Also 40-year-old virgin. Smokey and the Bandit Gleason was a comedy genius. Christmas Vacation. Raising Arizona. Arsenic and Old Lace. The National Lampoon's Vacation Movies, especially Christmas Vacation. Team America World Police. Young Frankenstein Gene Wider. Young Frankenstein. The Jerk. The Naked Gun. The Jerk in Office Space. Dumb and Dumber. Mrs. Doubtfire. Animal House. The Jerk. 
Dumb and Dumber. Katie Shack. It's probably the comedy movie I quote the most. Robin Hood Men in Tights. The top five are exactly what I expected. Monty Python, Mel Brooks, and Leslie Nielsen. 1. Tommy Boy 2. Airplane 3. Monty Python's The Life of Brian. Kingpin. Dr. Strangelove. My five favorite comedies are Don't Be a Menace, Happy Gilmore, Black Dynamite, Friday, and Not Another Teen Movie. Movies are subjective though so there isn't a best. Pee Wee, S Big Adventure, Airplane, Blazing Saddles, Mr. Bean, Idiocracy, Airplane, I think Naked Gun takes the cake. Maybe Airplane 1 or 2. A somewhat obscure Bill Murray movie called What About Bob? Comic genius. Murray and Richard Dreyfus absolutely kill it. Dumb and Dumber. Hilarious storyline, perfect cast and very original. The Party with Peter Sellers Tears of Joy. Spaceballs. Animal House. Tropic Thunder gets written off due to the absurdity but the the layers and acting are award. Worthy. Not really a comedy film but man I love Zombieland. Grandma's Boy. Tommy Boy. Nobody remembers the Marx Brothers? Fuck, I must be old. Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles. Ghostbusters. Airplane. There really is no correct answer because it's a matter of personal taste. The fun part is seeing all the responses here. Minty Python and the Holy Grail. Almost anything with Richard Pryor. Three Amigos is my favorite film, so that probably. Blazing Saddles Mad Mad World The Gods Must Be Crazy Life of Brian. Trains, planes, and automobiles. It's really just the perfect comedy. Dumb and Dumber. Blazing Saddles is my pick. Where all the white women at? Blazing Saddles. Me, myself, and Irene. The Birdcage. I start laughing way before the jokes land it's so funny. Trading Places has to be up there. One of the most satisfying endings I have seen in any movie. Extremely quotable and there is a real plot in this movie while being really funny. Also one of the first big movies for Eddie Murphy and Jamie Lee Curtis. Dan Aykroyd was just coming back from losing his close friend John Belushi when this got made too. The Room Beerfest is right up there. Not sure anybody saw it but me. Black Dynamite. The Water Boy. So I Married an Axe Murderer. Mean Girls. My Cousin Vinny. Monty Python and the Holy Grail.